What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So we are like roughly, um, we're about seven hours into the Abattoir of Zir um, event. We have our Glyph and we only have it at level seven. It's been in roller coaster kind of journey. But so today I wanted to give you guys kind of my just overview of my brief thoughts about all of it. Just kind of my like Abattoir of Zir review. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's talk about a few things and how it works and how everything goes down for those who haven't been able to access it yet. So when you first come in, you're going to get a nice little quest. It's going to bring you over here to um, the occultist and you're going to go ahead and craft yourself your very first blood forge sigil, which is going to be level one, which is super cool. There's zero afflictions on all of these, um, which is still weird that it doesn't show that. But um, I guess that's just the thing. But yeah, you get your very first Blood Forge Sigil, and then you're going to crack it. So we'll just go ahead and pop a Tier 1. It costs 800 uh, Powder. And then once you do that, you're able to come in here, and you're going to be able to pop this and then do the dungeon. And once you complete the dungeon, you'll get a scroll, which will unlock the very next tier. So the highest that we have made it is uh, Tier 10, I believe, because now we can craft uh, T11s, which is pretty cool. Um, however, I will say that it gets exponentially harder as you continue to go. Now, once you pop your sigil, all you're going to do is pop this thing and you're going to go over here. You're going to be in Ked Bardu and you just got an ongoing portal here. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. You're just going to go in and play it. So as we're going through the dungeon, I'm going to kind of talk about a few things. Uh, it's pretty cool. Maybe we won't do it all. But um, what I do, what I will say is that um, overall, I think this is a cool concept. Okay, I think that this is a very cool concept. It's a way to really test your build. However, with that said, um, there's some some very big negatives about it. So as we're going to go through, I'm just going to like speed roll this real quick for you guys. Just so you can see when you're going through the dungeon, no items drop, right? You get no items to drop. You're just going to be fighting monsters. It's straightforward. Uh, you are going to get no... Um, items until the end when you kill the the final three bosses which get insanely hard as you continue to go up uh there is going to be shrines throughout the entire dungeon sometimes you'll, you'll spawn three or four sometimes you won't get except but one or two um and as you can see just as the tier one like this is is fairly simple um but once you go from three to four and then four to five like the difficulty scales exponentially it seems like it's increasing you know three or four fold just by going up one more tier now there is only 25 tiers in the avatar of zir which is i mean that's cool there's 25 tiers that you can do and they talk about some of them or at least the devs did about some of these things not being able to be finished and i can definitely see that out of all the classes that have been doing these over over today it seems that like the barbarian has the easiest time to do them with sork being next druid after that and then uh, Necro and Rogue, although they are able to clear some, they are struggling a bit. So again, you're just running through. You can see the timer, how much it increases. We got Condi here, which is cool. This will help us finish it fast. Um, you get more time added on, depending on the type of monster you kill, whether it's an elite or maybe it's just a champion or some of these extra guys. I consider the champions are the ones that don't say like elite next to a name, but they have like an extra affix on them. So like that's pretty cool. And you're just kind of speed rolling this um, really, really quick. This looks really easy, but it's just, you know, it's only it's only tier one, right? So we'll grab lethal shrine. You can see this is our third shrine through the dungeon. So these spawn like quite often. Um, and then once you do that, you fill up the bar, the bosses are going to spawn. And you have the remaining duration to kill the bosses, okay? And each boss is going to have three affixes that are just randomly assigned to it. And then once you're done, boom, you're still going to get your four items. Okay, you're going to get your four items. And then you're going to get Glyph XP. It starts at level one at 1,000 Glyph XP, which is pretty cool. Um, and then it's going to scale as you go up. As you can see, my Glyph is only level seven. And it takes 23,500 XP to level this up and you can max it at level 200. So this is going to take a very, very, very long time. Shout out to Rax because he said that it's going to take roughly 
80 hours or more to max this out if you are farming efficiently, which is something that's really, really scary. Um, now, as far as the cost of the sigils, it costs 800 to craft a level one, right? When you finish the dungeon, it's gonna give you enough sigil dust to craft the next level higher. So it costs 800, right? It's gonna cost 850 because it goes up by 50 each um, subsequent level. So they're gonna give you 850 sigil dust in order to um, craft the other one. As you can see, I have a crap ton of sigil dust, so it doesn't matter. But that way you have some sustain as long as you're not dying. So that's kind of how it works. Now let's get into like the, the, the good and the bad and the ugly, right? So the good things is it's very simplistic, right? It's straightforward. You're going to have this glyph. You're going to get the Tears of the Blood glyph. It's going to add some extra damage. Um, the dungeons have no items that you can pick up. You get the four items at the end. You get really nice XP for this, which you can also apply to any of your other glyphs, which really sucks because there was a bug today. All of these were actually 21. I had to re-level these five glyphs, so I'm not going to re-level these ones because once they fix it, these will get moved back to 21. Um... And then that's it. The three bosses are, are tough, but so the good things is that this is a really cool end game piece of content. Uh, I think it's cool. It's, it gives you a really good test for your build and you can really challenge yourself and just kind of scale it and going higher. Um, outside of that, after doing like the first 10 levels, you pretty much have the basic understanding of how it all works and there's really nothing left. So the 200 levels to level this up or the 25 tiers is without any other like word that I can think of. It's just a personal challenge if you want to try to complete all of that. Um, the damage that's going to come from this Tears of the Blood Glyph leveling it up to 200 is going to be absolutely insane. Um, and it's just going to wipe everything in the game. So I think that's good. Um, however, let's get into the bad. The bad is, is that you are required to use this Glyph and you are going to have to level this up and it's going to take a very long time. I think most players from season one or season zero where it took 80 plus or 120 or what the dev said was 150 hours to get to level 100, it's going to take you 80 to 120 hours just to level this glyph all the way up. Okay. So I don't know if people want to do what we just did in the dungeon over and over and over again for what is considered a lackluster amount of EXP in comparison to how long it's going to take to level the glyph so at level for a reference at level 10 we only get 300 3900 exp at level 10 and i can tell you that after seven and a half hours almost eight hours of multiple content creators and other people playing that the max one that has been done is level 15 and that is rob shout out to rob with his uh immortal barbarian there has been some people uh, that have done 14s and 12s um, i've only been able to do a 10 with my sork so it's going to be a struggle considering how much XP it is going to take to level this thing up. Now, there are some really cheap ways or cheap, cheesy ways to kind of um, spawn it because what you can do is right when you're about to fight the bosses, you can have players join you, you kill the bosses, and then they can get all the credit from um, doing the so-called dungeon to upgrade their glyph. So I don't know if players are going to really want to do that. Okay, so the next bad thing is... There's no other items. You're just getting the four items that drop, which again are completely random. And they're not even max item power. You can see that they're in the 900s. Um, this one's 909. Then we got a 925 one and then 917, 909, 916. Um, in my opinion, all this stuff should just be 925. In my opinion, it should just, it should never be lower than 900, but that's just a personal opinion of mine um, because if we're not going to be able to get anything else out of this besides just leveling the glyph and only four items at the end, then the items should be worth it. They should be 925, um, just period. So uh, the next thing is, is that that's it, right? Like there, there's nothing else to do with the Arbiter. That is all you, you have to do. So if you really don't want to level this glyph up and you really don't want to take the time to farm, 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 then that's it. You do level one, two or three, you're done. That's it. Um, I really hope that the devs come up with something similar to this, but a little bit different in the full version whenever they release that uh, to the game permanently because they really want our feedback on this. And I don't know. I've been doing it for seven hours, seven plus hours going on eight hours now. And uh, my glyph is level seven. 
you know, I've died a bunch. There's a lot of bugs with the new season, um, with implementing all these changes to the live server. Um, there's been a lot of bugs, every single one shot, every single, like being shot off screen, everything just one taps you regardless of how much armor and DR that you have on all of your gear. Um, the other big issue that I find with this is all the affixes. It seems to be the same like few affixes on all of the elites and or the bosses. It seems to be like suppression, the fire enchantment or the little volcanic explosion enchantment and um, vampiric, which seems to be like just basically that's all they get and it's or shock lance which is incredibly tough um i don't know maybe i'm just realizing that there's really not a lot of affixes for the monsters but it seems to be like the same ones over and over again and i know they each get three but i could have swore that there's more affixes than what we have been seeing all day let me know down in the comments if i'm just like maybe i'm just like tripping about that or something i'm not really sure but it seems like i just keep getting the same three over and over and over again uh, so yeah, outside of that, I mean, I think I think it's really really cool. I mean, outside of again just trying to farm the Tears of the Blood glyph and just leveling this thing up, there's really not a whole lot to do with this. I kind of been putting it in my brain like this is a greater rift from Diablo three, and you're just like farming to get to the end, and you're just doing it. Um, however, I think there's a serious imbalance in. Uh, how much XP we're getting and how much it takes to level this thing up, especially considering when we have to level it 200 times. Again, I, I cannot stress this enough. This is at the like the minimal hours of like 80 or more hours to max this thing. And that is if you are farming super efficiently and that's like not dying. So you're really looking at like 150 plus hours to level this thing up. And I just don't think players want to do that. So um, I think there needs to be a, a big increase in the XP. I'm considering that this is only going to be for the remainder of the season. And if Blizzard really wants us to give some serious feedback and get to the higher ends, then, I mean, just increase it a little bit. Um, because we have a graph right here that I'm doing, which is going to be another video and just kind of like my speed running uh, times. These are the first five tiers. So you go from tier one to tier five, and it's only an 800 increase. And when you think about that in comparison to like, wow, this is going to take 23,500 just to level it up, right? So divide by 1,800 or uh, what is it? 23,500 divided by 1,800, which is just, that's 13 runs to level it up. And then 23, 23,500 divided by what? 1300 or a thousand again it's just going to be 23 you're talking about saving just a few runs it just shouldn't even be that close as we're going up considering there's only 25 tiers so i don't know guys this is my thoughts you guys let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the arbiter if you got a chance to play it like the video comment subscribe and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace